Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to finally be sitting down and doing this video for you guys. Ever since I created my full face of drugstore Allure Beauty Award winners video a few weeks ago, there were so many comments from you guys that wanted me to recreate the same type of video but using all of the high-end products from the Allure Beauty Award winner list. So that's what I did. I grabbed a full face of high-end products off of Sephora and a couple other websites and basically spent all my money. <laughs> I bought every single one of these products to review for you guys and I wanted to do it differently than my drugstore one. In my drugstore video I did more of like a first impressions type of video and I felt like that was appropriate for that because the products were affordable and so it would be easy for you guys to you know, go out and buy them, try them out, and if you didn't like them, worst case scenario, you could just like return them. Where with this video, I have had these products for a few days now and I've been using them for a few days. I just didn't want to like do a full face of super expensive products and only have first impressions for you guys. I feel like first impressions would be fun, but it probably wouldn't be very helpful because if some of you guys are like, okay, I like to splurge sometimes on a good high-end product, but I don't know what to invest in. I wanted to kind of test these out so I could have a solid opinion for you guys and let you know what I'm keeping from all the things that I bought and what I would recommend to you guys and why. So that's the way I kind of filmed this video. I hope you don't mind. This was so fun for me, honestly. When else have I had the opportunity opportunity to just go and like do a major shopping spree on sephora.com it was really really fun so i hope you guys find this helpful because ultimately i want you guys to be able to have a good idea of the products that i feel like are worth the splurge and then some that i feel like are not and that I will be returning. So before we get into this video, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, just hit the little notification bell and that'll just mean you'll be notified each time I upload. I post a video three times a week, so if you don't wanna miss out, make sure to be notified. And yeah, so if you guys wanna see how I created this look with all very expensive products, <laughs> with all high-end products, and if you guys wanna see what I feel like made the cut and what did not for me personally, keep in mind these are all my own opinions, so if there's something that I personally didn't love or that I might be returning that you guys love, don't worry about it. Everyone's different. Everyone's skin type and skin tone is different. Everyone's preferences are different. So if you love something that I didn't, that's totally okay. And I may love some things that you guys may not have loved. So just keep that in mind. These are just my opinions. I always try to have a very honest opinion for you guys, especially when it comes to these high-end products so that you're not like splurging on things that aren't gonna be that good. So anyways, if you guys wanna see how I created this look right here with all these products, then just keep watching. All right, I'm so excited to dive into this massive bag full of high-end products. I don't think you guys that I've ever purchased this many high-end products at once. And there are some products in here that are the most expensive products I've ever owned or ever purchased. It's gonna be really fun. It's all for you guys. <laughs> there are hundreds of award winners on their website, so I just kind of selected a full face, but feel free to go check out the rest of the list. Again, I will link the drugstore version of this video down below if you're interested in seeing that. Um, first things first, I did pick up a couple things like nail polish and skincare, just like I did in the drugstore one that I wanted to show you first. The first thing is this nail polish from Marc Jacobs. I mean, look how pretty this is. This is in the shade 140 Petra, and this is what it looks like on the nails. It's really cool because it kind of shifts like bronzy and then silver in different lighting, and then it has like that purpley undertone. I think it's gorgeous for fall. It's honestly one of the coolest colors that I've ever put on my nails. So I'm really happy that I have this in my collection. I applied it last night and the one thing that I did not love about it, if I'm honest, is how cheap the applicator looks. For a Marc Jacobs nail polish, I kind of personally, I'd never seen one before, but I kind of expected it to be a little bit more high end. This cap is just so like flimsy and then the applicator itself is just your standard applicator. I feel like it may be a little bit spoiled because I do use a lot of the KL Polish nail polishes and her brush is fabulous and her cap is really high-end feeling and so maybe I'm just comparing it to that. The nail polish itself is beautiful. I applied it last night and it does seem to be kind of chipping on the top. I didn't put a base coat on though and I normally do. So I'm gonna have to get back to you guys as far as like the wear of this since I just did apply this last night. When you first apply it, I did about two coats. It has like real chunks of glitter in it and it kind of looks a little bit dull 
Once you put the top coat on though, it really brings the nail polish to life, I found. This is unlike anything else that I've owned. This retails for $18, so it is a pricier nail polish compared to your typical $8.50 nail polishes, but I will say it is very unique. It's unlike anything else that I own. I'm actually really happy that I have it and I will be keeping this. I'm just not sure how the wear is and I wish that the actual applicator was felt more high end since I did pay $18. The actual like packaging is really, really cute. That is Petra, this won an award and it really is a beautiful polish. I also wanted to pick up some skincare items. There were tons of things on the Allure Beauty list but I found this on Sephora and it's so perfect for just trying out one of the things that I've actually always wanted to try out. So the item that won is the TLC Sukari Baby Facial and this is the travel size and it actually comes with a little mini like oil with it. Here's what the product looks like. This is the product that won the award. It's supposed to be basically like a skin resurfacing and exfoliator product. I'm not able to give you like a full-blown review on this yet. I'm still trying it out because you can only use it like one to two times maybe tops a week. And I just got it last week, so I've only used it once. But the reviews online are insane, and I cannot wait to keep using this, and then I'll update you guys. But this is a great way to try it out because the original size is actually $80. <laughs> but this travel size, which comes with this little bonus oil, which they recommend to actually use after you use this, these two together are $25. So I thought that it was a really great way for me to try a luxury skincare product without spending the $80 and then I would know you know if I end up loving it and if it's a game changer maybe later I would be able to spend the $80 and not feel guilty about it you know if it's something that I end up loving so super excited to keep using this this is from Drunk Elephant I forgot to say the brand this is from Drunk Elephant their skincare line has been getting so many insanely incredible reviews so I'm really excited to keep on using that I think those are the two items that aren't makeup items that I did purchase so with that being said, let's get into the actual skin. This was not an award winner, but I always prep my skin before I put on any makeup. This is from Bobbi Brown, is the Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I felt like since I'm doing a face of high-end makeup that I would put on a high-end base or primer. It's a beautiful like vitamin moisturizer and I just love how makeup sits on top. So. This is what I'm using. A little bit goes a long way. I probably actually could have used a little less than that, but that's all right. The weather is getting a little more dry, so hydrated skin is okay. Normally I start with the eyes first, but I'm actually going to do a little bit of the base first because the eyes are gonna be really simple just because of the palette that I'm gonna be using. You guys will see in a minute. So for foundation, um, the Dior Forever foundation also won an award. I have that one and I've used it a few times. I do like it, but I did wanna try the other foundation that won because it was a cool opportunity for me to try another high-end foundation. So I picked up the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Longwear High cover foundation and I got the shade 3.5 so I'm just gonna take two pumps on the back of my hand to start and I've actually been loving using the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood complexion brush this came with her like contour products that just recently launched um, it was sent to me and I've been loving using it for foundation I feel like it works really well I've been wearing this for the past few days and I have to say I really really loved it this is the most expensive foundation I've ever owned or put on my face, but I do feel like the quality is there and, and that it is different than a lot of my foundations that I own. As you can see, like that was just two really small pumps and it really is enough to cover most, if not all, of my face. It's so pigmented that I really feel like I can do a pretty light layer. I'm a full coverage foundation girl, by the way, so this really does float my boat. I've really been loving it and the way it covers up redness and even a lot of my blemishes, I feel like it, it does a really good job and I don't have to layer it a ton. I feel like it's also pretty long wearing and I like the finish of it as well. A couple days ago I did have a couple like dry patches and it didn't cling too nicely to the dry patches so really important that you exfoliate and hydrate the skin before you do apply this because I've just found personally that it looks better um, and if you have super dry skin this might not be the best for you I'm not sure if you guys have tried this and you do have dry skin and you do love it let me know I just found around my nose where I have dry areas it just tended to cling a little bit to that Otherwise, it looks really gorgeous and just really looks like your skin but better and a little bit really does go a long way. I feel like this is a very, very pigmented foundation where even my Dior Forever foundation, I feel like I have to put on, for me, for the coverage that I want, I feel like I have to put on a lot more layers than this. So I do prefer this one over the Dior one. 
if I'm being completely honest. And I just love, I just love how it looks. I think it's really beautiful. This is one of the things that I think I will be keeping just because it really checks off everything that I look for in a foundation and it has yet to disappoint me. I really love how it feels. It dries down so velvety. It just feels really luxurious on the skin as well. It's one of those like one and done foundations for me even though I do have redness and I do have blemishes. I feel like this gives me enough coverage with one go around that I could just really quickly buff it on my face and then head out the door. And it's also like I used a brush you guys. Usually I apply a foundation with a brush and then dab in the brush marks with a beauty blender but this I just feel like blended out so beautifully with a brush and so that's the way I've been doing it and that's the way I've been liking it so I think I will be keeping this I really do like it for some reason like if you have a good foundation it really changes how your makeup sits on top of it and for me I just feel like that's something that I personally like to invest in a little bit so this retails for $64 oh my gosh I forgot how much it was <laughs> really pricey and if it weren't for this video I, I'll be honest I probably wouldn't have picked it up because of the price but because I did and I already have it I think I'll keep it because I do really love it that much and again if you're somebody who likes to invest a little bit more in your foundations then I would suggest trying this out it really did not disappoint me at all so let's do a little bit of under eye concealer I was so happy to see that this won an award because I love the NARS radiant creamy concealer and I've also heard such amazing things about this so I got it in the shade light 2 vanilla which is a pretty fair shade, but I kind of like how it looks on my under eye area. Oh, I forgot to mention, I filled in my brows already with a pencil. This was an award winner, the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Absolutely highly, highly recommend. This is something that's been with me for years now, and it's just, it's amazing. I feel like my brows are kind of getting unruly, but it's just a really great pencil. It's one of those products that really gives you a beautiful, natural look with your brows. So if you're somebody who likes that and you like to have a little bit more control over your brows, because the pencil is so small, I feel like it gives me that. Love this. I would highly recommend this. I already have recommended it on my channel so many times, but I love that. So anyways, back to the concealer. I'm going to dip my finger in the product and just start to dab this underneath the eye. As I was doing my research about this concealer, this concealer was kind of designed to be a fuller coverage concealer compared to all their others. And I've really found that to be true. I love the coverage that it gives with just the smallest amount of product. Can you tell the difference there? Like it's so beautiful and I didn't even have to like draw on the triangles under my eyes, you know what I mean? But you still get that beautiful, fresh, and awake look. I'm also gonna put a tiny bit on my eyelid to prep that for the eyeshadow. Can you see the difference between this eye and this eye, like how much brighter this looks? With this product, I feel like less is more. I applied it with a brush a couple times and I felt like I just got too much product on there and it actually ended up kind of creasing in my fine lines a little. So just start with a little bit and build it up. That way you don't end up having too much product on your under eye area. So now I am going to take the brush and just dab it into the pot and I'm going to use this to highlight the center of my face. I'm just going to press that in with my finger. So the next product that I picked up for this is the Kat Von D Lock It Under Eye Setting Powder. I got mine in the shade Petal. Here's the deal with this. It comes in three shades. This is the lightest shade that they have. And honestly, it's just too dark for me. Also, the packaging is extremely messy. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's a really nice, pretty, like, light peach color, which would work for a lot of people. But for me, I put it on under my eyes. Um, I also think I may have put too much on because it started to make my under eyes look crepey a little bit. And then... The pink in it is just too dark. It made my under eyes look really dark and I just, I'm so fair and I like a brighter under eye that it just didn't work for me. So if you have tried this, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it and if it worked for you because if you have a darker skin tone, anything darker than me, it may work beautifully for you. I don't know. For the purpose of this video, I will be using a tiny bit of this, but I'm going to be mixing it with my Laura Mercier Secret Under Eye Brightening Powder just to kind of help lighten it. And I'm just going to very lightly just set right under the eye as well as the eyelid. I'm going to try to keep this cheek area free of powder because I do have a cream blush product that I want to use. But I also want to make sure that this doesn't crease anytime soon. So I will be returning the Kat Von D powder. So I'm sorry if I'm not able to give a great review on that. Oh my huge spider on the window. Oh gosh. So I'm sorry if I'm not able to give a great review on this. Um, it's honestly just because of my skin tone I feel so please comment down below if you have tried this 
let our fellow friends here on YouTube know how you liked it so you can help me kind of finish up the review on that. If you have darker skin, maybe it did work better on you. I keep forgetting this retailed for $25 and then I also forgot to tell you guys how much the concealer was. This was $30 so that's how much their Radiant Creamy Concealer is which I absolutely love. I do think I will be keeping this because I do want to keep playing with it a little more and I like having different textures of concealer on hand and I love NARS and I love the shade on me so I do think I will be hanging on to this but I will be returning that Kat Von D brightening powder. So next up we have an eyeshadow palette. I was so happy to see this on the list because that meant that I would be able to try it. It is the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette. I've wanted to try this for so long and I'm so happy that I've been able to because I really do love it. Here's what it looks like on the inside. It's all matte shadows, you guys. So if you're somebody who loves matte for an everyday and you're not really into too many shimmers, this might be your perfect palette. Another thing that I found was really great with this palette is the range of cool tones and warm tones in here. Even though at first glance it kind of looks like there's a lot of similar shades, I found personally that there's been a lot of looks that I've been able to create with this over the past few days that I've owned it and I've really liked it. So I'm just gonna create a simple look with this. I'm gonna start off with this one right here called Nudie and maybe mix it with Commando. And this is going to be our transition shade. I'm kind of blending it out towards the end of the brow a little bit, as well as into this inner corner here, just to add that really nice extra depth and dimension. I've liked doing that recently. I'm actually just gonna take this taupey shade called Lockout and start to press this onto the lid and then take it up to the crease. I'm also going to take what's left on the brush and kind of run this along that lower lash line. Now this is $54 as much as the other Urban Decay palettes. And I feel like this one, I mean, I'll tell you, it's a really great palette, but honestly, it's about preference. Like it depends on the person, I feel like, with how much you're, you're gonna use it. If you're somebody who only likes matte eyeshadows, this may be a really great investment for you. But if you're somebody who kind of likes to go play around with shimmer, then even some of the other like Urban Decay Naked palettes might be a better option, just depending on you and what you like. I'm just gonna take the tiniest bit of this shade right here called lethal it's a really pretty purple burgundy shade and I'm just going to this is really pigmented so I'm just going to try to take a really light hand and work this on the outer third of the top lid and then blending the extras kind of into the crease a little bit taking what's left on that brush I'm just going on the outer third of the lower lash line only I will say the packaging on this is beautiful. It looks amazing on display. <laughs> so for me personally, I do think that I will keep this just because I love makeup and it's so beautiful and I have really liked it. But as far as you guys, like it just, I would just recommend it to those of you who love matte shadows, who maybe want to invest in something a little more high end. This would be a great option for you. It honestly is just preference. I don't know if this palette would be for everybody. If you don't love mattes, if you like to have a little bit more of a variety, then maybe you shouldn't get this. But for those of you who do, I would recommend it to you. So let's pop on mascara. I'm actually really excited to show you guys this. I picked up a travel size of this mascara at Ulta. Um, this won an award. It is the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. And from the moment that I first tried this, I fell in love. I will show you. Recently, a lot of my favorite mascaras have been irritating my eyes a little bit. They get kind of dry and flaky and I just feel like there's always something in my eye. This didn't do that to me, so if you have that problem, that might be a good point to point out. Let me show you what it does though. Okay, first of all, if you want more of a natural lash, look how natural that made my lashes look. It just lightly coated them and basically made them look like my lashes, but better. If you wanted something like that, just do like one really light coat and this is the effect you'll get. Here's the difference, one without, one with the mascara. I love the way it lifts and separates the lashes. It lengthens them. I feel like it wears all day. It doesn't irritate my eyes. Hopefully you can kind of just see for yourself the difference. So this is a mascara that I feel like I would highly recommend Recommend. I just personally got the travel size because I have so many realistically this is what I will go through but I may end up purchasing the full size after I'm out because I just it's grown on me so much and I've loved it so I will not be returning this I'll be keeping this the travel size was $12 and I believe the full size retails for around $24 or $25 all right so let's finish up the face this is the most expensive makeup item that I've ever purchased or owned it is the Tom Ford shade and illuminate cheeks palette I got mine in the shade 01 skin to lit skin to lit <laughs> the packaging itself I like gasped when I first opened this it has like a suede case on the front 
<laughs> this is crazy and the packaging looks like this it's a gorgeous like deep brown color inside you will see the two cheek products there's a cream blush and also a cream highlighter i have yet to actually put this on my face but i did swatch it a bit earlier but literally it's the most beautiful packaging i've ever seen let's see how this performs this was 82 dollars 82 dollars my friends i cannot believe that i have this in my hands i'm actually not positive what the best way to wear this is so i'm going to try it with a beauty blender on one cheek and we'll see how that goes so hopefully this works so a little bit goes a longer way than i thought i love me a good blush okay so it kind of has like a tacky finish to it it's really like luminous almost like a balm like a lip balm or something like that <laughs> but it does give you a really nice subtle color to the cheeks i think that's really pretty doesn't it look really nice and natural this came in another color too with like a berry blush which actually may have gone better with the look that i'm gonna make but i felt like this would look best on my fair skin what do you guys think is it worth 82 dollars that's the big question. I'm gonna take my smaller Aesthetica sponge. Let's see how this highlight goes. Hmm. The illuminator is also like a lip balm. In fact, let me see if I can even see anything. Like I said before, I didn't really play with this one too much. Okay, if I'm honest, I don't really see too much from that highlighter. It's a really, it's more of like a balm. So if you like that high shine, balm-like highlighter you might like this but like it's 82 dollars you know like for 82 dollars it better be like the best blush and highlighter that i've ever used this is just my opinion you guys and this is just my preference if somebody likes products like this maybe this is the best one on the market i don't know but i feel like i would rather own the tom ford shade and illuminate the contour and highlighting palette just because i've heard great things about that this for me it's beautiful do not get me wrong it looks nice on the face but it's not like oh my gosh 82 dollars worth to me i'm just being honest i'm just being honest if there's ever a point in my life where i could even like afford this i don't know if i would buy it i just feel like there's for me there's just better options out there for a little bit of a lesser price oh well <laughs> so this next product i really have been loving is the laura mercier candle glow sheer perfecting powder and this is in the shade one this is a really unique product it's i don't have anything like it actually so i think that's why i've really been enjoying it it's a like setting powder but it has a sheer finish so I'm going to go ahead and set my face with this. I'm going to go over top of the cheek area and all over the face. What I've really liked about this product so far is that it gives you that gorgeous like subtle luminosity while still keeping your skin matte, which is a great thing I feel. Because I feel like we all want that healthy luminous skin, but if you get oily at all or if your makeup falls off, I feel like an option like this is way nicer. And it just looks beautiful. I actually applied this on top of my IT Cosmetic CC Cream the other night and it really looked beautiful on that. It just gives like a healthy all over glow. This retails for $38. So it's actually like a little bit less than a lot of the products that I picked up. But for me, I feel like it's it's kind of a standout product just because it's so different than what I have ever owned. It's so finely milled as well that I feel like when I press it into the skin, it really just disappears. But it does leave my skin feeling nice and set, but leaves that beautiful natural glow behind. It comes in six shades, I believe. So this is number one for fair skin goes all the way to number six, I, I'm pretty sure. So that's really nice as well. It's not just like one universal shade. It's a product that would suit a lot of different skin tones. This is something that I will be keeping because it's different than a lot of things that I own. I've been testing it over the past few days and I really have been enjoying it. So this is a great new find for me and I haven't had luck with the past couple Laura Mercier products that I've tested out. So I was excited to be impressed by this one. It made me really happy. So let's warm up the skin now. I think this might be one of my favorite things that we've got going on here because I secretly always wanted to try this and this video gave me the opportunity to finally make that splurge. It's the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer. This bronzer is so massive. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I've used it for the past couple days and it's just so fun. I feel like I need like a massive brush with this just because the pan is so big. 
Um, let me show you how it applies. It does have a lot more of a warm undertone than a lot of my bronzers do, but it still, it honestly still works, I feel like, on my skin tone, and my skin tone is quite fair. There's only one shade in this, so I was really happy to discover that it did look good on my skin. I was kind of worried that it would look a little too orangey, but I just feel like it does a great job of warming up the complexion. I haven't had any problems with blending it out. The packaging is to die for, so if you're kind of like a makeup collector, this may be a, an item that you might want to add to that collection. So this retails for $49, but because the pan is so massive, I feel like that might be worth the price. I just feel like it looks really natural, like it just has that tiny bit of reddish orange undertone that really makes it look like you got a little bit of a natural tan in the sun. I'm gonna take the extras and just kind of dab over the nose. I will say I haven't, I didn't love how it looked when I actually contoured my nose with this. It just looked way too orange on me. So I feel like just using it more of like a bronzer and kind of tapping it over the nose will look much more natural for me. Um, this is actually sold out on Sephora.com right now. I picked it up on MarkJacobs.com during their friends and family sale, so I got it for 20% off, so I will be keeping this because I didn't actually have to pay full price for it, which is really awesome. It's just one of those cool makeup items that if you're looking for a great bronzer, I do think it's really great, and you wanna kind of display it on your vanity or something like that, I would recommend this, honestly. I will be keeping it. I would not recommend contouring your nose with it if you are my skin tone, but I really do love this. Let's go in with highlighter. This is from Makeup Forever. It's their Pro Light Fusion Undetectable Luminizer in the shade 01. I have actually not tried this on my face. I thought I would save this for first impressions just because highlighter is fun to try out on camera. Here's what it looks like in the pan. I mean, and look at that look at the cool like wave that you've got going on in there and it kind of has like a light pink like duochrome almost undertone so let's see how this applies I'm just going to take my Sigma brush and let's see how this goes Okay, this is a super unique highlighter. It looks like it's gonna be so intense in the pan, but once you put it on, it really just melts into the skin. I see why it's called like undetectable because it's there, like it's noticeable, but it's not like glittery sparkly like I thought it was gonna be. And because of the pinky undertone, it really just blends in with my skin tone especially. I honestly did not think that I was gonna like this as much as I do right now. Also, it doesn't really like come off pink. Because in the pan, I thought that it was going to be obvious where it started and stopped just because there was that light pink kind of undertone in it. Like I thought you'd be able to see like the highlight streak really well, but it really does blend in so beautifully. Now I'm going ham with this. I'm going to kind of put it on all the high points of the face. This is so unique. Well, folks. So this retails for $39, which is pretty typical for a high-end highlighter. If you're looking for something different yet wearable, look no further because it just somehow really sinks into the skin, but it has that super cool like pinky undertone that is so different, but it's not like too flashy. So if you're into like really soft highlighters and really natural highlighters, but you're looking for something a little bit more out there and a little different, give this a shot. Honestly, looking at the pan, I probably would not have even picked this up just seeing it in Sephora. I might keep this too. Oh, man, I'm keeping like way more than I planned. Let's pop this in the inner corner. Is that not like one of the coolest inner corner shades you've ever seen? Maybe it's cooler in person, which is like that kind of light pink undertone. It makes it so different than anything that I have. There were a couple lip products that won awards and you know me, I can't just pick one lip product. So I grabbed two, cause that's all I could afford. <laughs> The first one is from Bite Beauty, and Bite Beauty has been a brand that I have been obsessed with, and I keep wanting to try more products, and I keep meaning to try more products, I just haven't. So their Amuse Bouche Liquefied Lip won an award, and the shade specifically that won the award was Chutney. I had the chance to wear this all day the other day, and I really was impressed with the formula. This is not a liquid lipstick, it's more of like a really heavy duty hydrating lip balm gloss thing. I'll put it on for you guys so you can see and then I'll show you the other one as well. The cool thing about Bite Beauty is their whole brand is based around like edible products. So this product is 99% natural and it like smells and tastes like 
lemon. Oh my gosh, I feel like I could eat it. I'll swatch it for you first so you can kind of see. I was in Sephora and I was looking at this range and this would probably be the color that I would choose if I were to purchase one out of the entire range just because it's that perfect purpley mauve color, especially for fall. I think it's gorgeous. So let me apply this on the lips so you can see what I'm talking about. It's super like moussey and super pigmented. Oh, it's like lemony. I love it. So here it is on the lips. Can you see what I mean with that finish? It's a really creamy, hydrating finish. It doesn't feel sticky at all. This is not your kind of lipstick that you're gonna wanna have if you want it to last hours and hours. I will say, however, that it's so easy to reapply. I brought it with me throughout the day and just kind of reapplied it. And I also found that it faded beautifully. I probably ate it. You know how some lipsticks can just fade weird, especially when it's a little bit of a bolder color like this one? This one did not. I was really impressed with it. I love the shade and the formula. This is something that I would recommend to you guys if you're into this color, of course. This to me, this look is more of an everyday look. The other lipstick that I'm gonna show you in a second is a lot more vampy and bold. If you'd rather have more of like a hydrated yet pigmented product, check these out. Honestly, I swear by their Agave Lip Mask. I wear that every single night and ever since I bought it and I've been wearing it every single night, I've never had chapped lips since. It's the most amazing lip product I think I've ever owned. So this was $24, which is like pretty normal for a high-end liquid lipstick. Love the fact that it's 99% natural ingredients. I think that's incredible. And the fact that it's such a good lipstick and that the quality isn't compromised, even though you get natural ingredients, is amazing. So I would recommend this. I'm keeping it. <laughs> oh, I don't want to take it off. I feel like this looks really good with this look but I gotta take it off. Okay, so the second lipstick that I'm going to share with you that I picked up was from NARS. It's their Power Matte Lip Pigment in the shade 2774 Rock With You. It's the coolest vampy berry color. I'll show you guys what it looks like on the lips. This formula is super unique. I didn't have a chance to wear it throughout an entire day, so after I put it on today, I'm gonna kind of wear it through the rest of the day and then I'll update you um, in the description box below. I did kind of test it out though. I tried it on, loved the color already, but it did go on patchy. So I am going to apply a lip liner first. This is Bare Minerals Under Over Lip Liner in the shade Graphic. It's one of their statement lip liners. This did not win an award, but I think it should because it's one of my favorite formulas for lip liners. So I'm just gonna line and fill the lips with this. So after I've lined and filled my lips, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this. This is a really unique formula. It's so runny like super runny, almost like paint. The applicator is also really tiny, which is kind of nice if you want precision, but it really feels like almost like a liquid lip stain, but it's so pigmented. Do you see that? It's like this is the tiniest amount of product, but you would never know. It's so insanely pigmented. So I'm gonna put this on before it dries. And there we go. I will say it dries down really comfortably. It's just kind of gonna take me a second to get used to just because the formula is so runny. It's so pigmented and it's so beautiful. This color is so me and so fall. So this lipstick is $26, so it's a little bit more pricey than the Bite Beauty one. Again, I will keep you posted on how I feel like this wears. As far as the color goes, it's beautiful. So if you love this color, then I would recommend it off of the color right now, but check the description box to see my final thoughts on how the wear is for this lipstick. I think that's everything. I'm gonna do my hair and I will be right back. So there you have it, you guys. That completes my full face of high-end Allure Beauty Award winners for the year 2017. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching this and I hope that maybe you were able to see some fun products that you've maybe been interested in that you may have wanted to try before that maybe now you have have a more solid decision on whether you should purchase it or not. Thanks again for making the drugstore version of this video such a huge success. Once again, that's linked down below. I will be doing this video probably every year just because I feel like it's a really fun way to discover new products and to try out products and figure out why exactly they won awards and what my opinions are on those products. So don't forget that everything will be linked down below if you are interested so you guys can check out all the products that I talked about today. I think that's everything. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button on your way out and I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye!